Hi, Renox29 here. This is my custom Rubik's Cube and I will do a solve of it. Okay. This cube is very nice. I have lubricated it. That's very good. Like, let me show the checkboard pattern. It's a bit hard because sometimes the edge will come over a bit, so I couldn't turn it. So like sometimes this edge would go over a bit, like this edge would go over a bit, right? So then when I try to do an R, it won't do it, so I'd have to do so I'd have to do a top layer turn a bit and then I can move it. So yeah. Cuts edges or corners very well. You can barely cut corners on it, but I like it. What? has a bit of a clicking mechanism but that's just because there's no corners like you can hear that
and it locks up a bit. I'll scramble it and do another solve. Okay, this seems good enough. So yeah. What's nice about this cube is I can do this. a two by two out of this cube. So yeah. And I might be able to make a three by three by four out of two of my up uh, out of both of my Rubik's cubes. Or buying a DIY and using this one. The DIY for the center caps and then the cut down center pieces for this. Actually, I might just buy a DIY. So, yeah. As you can see, it's going to end almost because I'm not a partner, right? Well, I'll do another solve. I am not a partner. So is V cube seven. I am V cube seven.
done. This is way harder to solve. This is easier to solve, but longer to solve. You know why? Because of this. Can't skip it that much. Just because of this. The layers sometimes, the edges sometimes get out of place because there's no corners, right? Well, you can take some stubs, you can take the corners and cut the part off and stick it in here just so it doesn't get out of alignment. <laughs> So yeah, this is really cool.